What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome back to your daily market updates on Luna Classic. Uh, if you're new to this channel, basically what I've been doing on Luna Classic ever since, I don't know, once we reached 25,000 right here, beginning of September, I've been covering it daily. I think it's very valuable. I cover the price, I do a daily analysis and I cover some of the news. All right, and we take a look at some statistics. All right, everything you need to know about Luna Classic today. Today, volume is up, obviously, because we're dropping. Uh, yesterday, we dropped because of a higher than expected inflation rate. Uh, but the fundamentals, I mean, it, it just we, we reached some major resistance levels up here. I think we can reach those levels again. Uh, but it's all about the fundamentals right now for Luna Classic. All right, we need fundamentals to get us up. Uh, the burn tax will be implemented in a week. Um, we're going to hear more news about how that's going to be implemented on, for example, Binance. That's a huge cataclyst. If Binance uh, announces it and they're really going to tax it with every transaction, which is still unclear now, um, that's going to be very bullish and we're going to shoot up to 50,000 immediately. And I still think that we can reach 65,000. Uh, I think we'll need a little bit more time for that right now, but still. Um, so yeah, as I said, we also cover some of the news today, uh, to, uh, to be 100% to be honest with you, I'm not gonna, going to make up news. There's no news, all right? There's nothing I could find about Luna Classic right now. Um, I'm actually not sure where the Twitter takes you. Um, yeah, it brings you to the new Luna. Um, but, but, but the thing is, I mean, yesterday we talked about uh, the, the, the burn taxes on different exchanges. We've heard nothing more from those exchanges, at least not to my knowledge. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, then I'll make an update on that and, and I'll change that. But I, I, I follow all of those news sources and I haven't found anything. Um, so yeah, the, the main thing right now to me, fundamentally, is Binance. All right, Binance have said that they are going to... Uh, implement a burn tax on deposits and withdrawals. Yesterday we talked about some of the theories on how they could do that because the burn tax is obviously just written into the code of the network. The main way they could do that is if they wrap Luna Classic into the uh, Ethereum network. Uh, that way they, that they could do that, but obviously that would be kind of shady in my opinion. Uh, so it's, it's waiting for that. It's waiting for those fundamentals. Uh, if we get into an analysis, which is obviously one of the reasons you came here for, you can see that we are in this very strong downtrend. It, this is a very bearish market structure. We've had a couple bearish breakouts already too. It's not looking great. When I did the analysis, price was still at 30,000. I thought that would hold for a little bit and that eventually we would drop down to 25,000. Well, guess what? We have already dropped down to 25,000. So for now, I think this level is actually going to hold. I don't think we'll break out of this bearish market structure. I even think we're dropping down a little bit lower towards 23,000, 22,000. All right, I do think this level could hold for a little bit, but to be honest, if the market stays bearish like this, so if Bitcoin continues to uh, drop down, for example, um, I also see Luna Classic dropping down to this 20,000, 18,000 level. All right, as I said, we're going to drop down and that's going to decrease the potential levels we can reach in the future. Uh, but in the end, it's all about those fundamentals. So it's, it's just, it's, it's a little bit annoying because the fundamentals will still shoot it up or not, depending on, on what the fundamentals are. Um, but if the fundamentals are great right now, we're going to get up to 50,000, but it's going to be hard uh, to, to get higher, right? I think we will get higher, for example, if Binance implements it on every transaction, um, but it's going to be hard. All right. Th th that's that's the annoying thing. You you'll need to break through all these resistance levels. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my Luna, Mar Luna Classic market update for now. If you do have any questions about it or about anything I said, feel free to ask me down in the comments. Um, I'm always open for discussion. I think it's great to discuss about it. Uh, but for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care today. And bye.